Miss Kulkani here. In this video, let's continue with some more gas loss calculation. So, here are some simple easy steps in solving gas law problems. The very first step, we need to make sure we list all the given values. Make sure you check the units. Remember, temperature must be in Kelvin and we need to have same units for pressure and volume. Then we get the equation and we plug and check and we calculate and we get the final answer. Here is the first problem. Okay, So in this problem, there is not exactly the values given for pressure or volume. Looks a little tricky. So let's read it. What it says is what happens to the volume of a gas if the pressure is increased 2.41 times. So if I have my P1, V1, T1 and P2, V2 and T2 values, my first pressure if it is equal to 1, it tells me the pressure is increased 2.41 times. So I can write 2.41. Now what about the units? I can practically take any units because it doesn't specify any units which I need to use. It just says how many times the pressure is higher. So it's same units for both sides. This says the temperature is remaining constant. So you can write down temperature that as T. So in a way in the equation when you get you can practically cancel that temperature. And then about volume V1 and V2. There are no absolute values given to us. That means we can find out something like V2 is which number times V1. Or we can find a ratio of V2 by V1. Or the way I like to solve the problem is I just put if suppose I have one liter to begin with how many liters I can have at the end. And then it becomes simple. So let's write down our combined gas law formula. And that's what it is. Temperature is same. So there we go. We can cancel that. And now we need to plug and check the values which we got for each of those. Pressure is 1. Volume is 1. And over here pressure is 2.41. And then over here this is V2. So when we actually solve for V2, what do we get? We get 0.414, oops, I'm sorry, 414 liters. So in a way we can say we got the answer in liters or if I want to find out this ratio, that tells me the ratio will be 0.414 divided by 1. Or I can say that volume V2 is 0.414 times V1. So we can practically answer this question in whichever format we would like to put the answer in. Okay, here is one more question. Again, it's a tricky question. So let's list our P1, V1, T1 and P2, V2 and T2 here. So what happens to the volume of a gas if its pressure is triple? I'm going to write the same way. Volume first as 1 liter and I'm going to find out how many liters I get at the end. The pressure is triple three times. So if it is one unit, whatever is the unit, P2 must be three units. And look what it says about the temperature in Kelvin is double. So again I can take here as one for Kelvin and over here this could be whatever is that value for 1, it will be 2 times that value. So it's 2 Kelvin. So let's plug and check the values in our combined gas law. Alrighty. So there we go. It's 1 times 1 divided by 1 equals 3 times V2 divided by 2. And when we solve for V2, what do we get? We get 0.667 liters. So we can also write down that in the format of V2 by V1 
is 0.667 divided by it will be 1 liter so we got a ratio or we can also write down that as V2 is 0.667 times V1 so in a way we can express the answer in any format which we like to explain in. so I guess guys you enjoyed the video and we will move on to other gas laws in our next video so I'll see you later bye bye